Hello there, welcome to the first Aussie Rules vlog of this mega three week holiday. So I came here with the intention of being at AFL rounds one and two in Melbourne. And I was going to spend the first week exploring Perth and Sydney. And um, well, in general, WA and New South Wales, actually. But then they announced this opening round. I'm just like, oh, that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, because I booked the holiday, I couldn't see the ones at the SCG because I was still in Perth on that day. But it was literally just one day off. If I booked the holiday one day later, shifted everything one day, I would have been able to see the ones at the SCG, which is something I wanted to do for the last couple of years. So that, that that's a bit annoying. But there's a great alternative. I get to watch the Giants take on the Magpies at the Giants Stadium. At least I get to do that. So I get one opening round game and also I'll see you again for round one and two, but this is the only game I go to in this round. Also last night, how on earth did Carlton pull that off? I was like Brisbane nailed on at the Gabba and then Carlton do that. I mean, I know Carlton's a good team, but I was shocked by that. I was shell shocked. <laughs> it's the last thing I saw before I went to bed. I'm just like, what? <laughs> they were 46 points down. Anyway, yeah, I'm hoping today to see Collingwood lose. I'm going to hate watch Collingwood. Uh, hopefully I'll get a Giants cap. That's why I'm not wearing one right now. And uh, hopefully it's a good game. So I'm looking forward to it. Let's get to the Giants stadium. I'm going to skip over the travel and everything. It's like an hour on the train or 20 minutes in the car in an Uber. I'm taking a train. I'm going to skip to when I get there. Sounds in my bloody eyes, mate. I'm in D, which is literally just right there. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like there's more Collingwood than Giants. Even on the train, I felt that vibe. There's a bit more Giants in this section though, that's good. Um, I'm, I'm adding one more just for today. <laughs> Temporary Giants fan. Actual ground, okay. So that must be rugby or something. Why are they giving out high visits? Is that is that for what? They display or something? What's going on? I look I look ridiculous, bro. I look ridiculous, but it's fine. I'm part of the Giants today, okay? <laughs> this is silly though. They gotta give something else, like a t-shirt or something. I'm ready. Twenty dollar cap. Good. And uh, this is free. I guess I'll keep it as a souvenir that I went to this game. Oh, please, Giants win, please. Like, I don't want to look even more ridiculous than I do now. Come up those stairs. This, this damn place is a maze, bro. Going in and out, finding my gate. In and out, in and out. Check it all about. You know, you can turn around. Okay, I'm, I'm 437. So I'll find it, I'll find it. It's a nice stadium, by the way. It's unique. There we go. But most people in the stand are calling with, help me. There are some giants, but there's a lot of calling with the stand. I'll be all right, I think. It is a nice stadium though. Like I've done MCG, I've done Marvel, I've done Utahs. Um, I've toured uh, Optus, I've toured SCG. This one has a bit of uniqueness about it based on the ones I've been to. And I've been to the Gabba obviously for the finals last year. <laughs> there is that one too.
Eventful so far. <laughs> Ten goals for the Giants, six goals for Collingwood. How many goals do we want today? It's only half time. How many goals do we want? Yes, that's how many goals we want. We want, we want more. Give me more. But it's good that the Giants are winning. Um, Collingwood started well, and then the Giants um, came back a bit. And since then, it's been pretty even. I think. I think going forward, both teams look very dangerous. But the Giants have got just done a little bit better. They're scoring shots, and also just going forward. Um, but yeah, Collingwood look dangerous. Every time Collingwood come forward, uh, they look very dangerous. So uh, the game is not over yet, and uh, Collingwood do not. They're like bacteria; that they always come back. Like they don't, lay, they don't take it laying down. They fight back to the very end. They're very much like it's, it's, they're very comparable to bacteria. They literally are. You get rid of them, and then they just come back again. It's, it's just what they do. So hopefully, uh, chance can get over the line, but. You got to be like a hundred points ahead to keep Collingwood down. So uh, it's a long way to go, but uh, we shall we shall see how it goes. But so far, a really good game. Regardless of who wins from now, incredible half, uh, plenty of scoring shots, and I'm excited to see uh, how the second half goes. Please, Giants, let's let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. One more good quarter might be all, all they need. One more good quarter. <laughs> The L mates, look at these ice cream prices. Ten dollars, twelve dollars, eight dollars. It's only ice cream. Well the L mate, the second half is bloody started. Played twelve dollars for this.
next to them was not so bad not so bad at all as you know all leaving in the fourth quarter as you do you know these miserable people the giants did this in terms of how good a game it was it definitely was worse than the second half because uh, it was more one-sided the giants finished the game off really Collingwood still had a lot of shots they just you know they missed quite a few made a few errors gave away possession Hearing them getting frustrated next to me in the second half was really funny. 
even though I couldn't say anything because they were on my left and my right and behind me. The Giants were just better with their finishing. That's the, I think that's where the game was won and in the second half it really showed a bit more. In the last quarter, the Magpies, I think, got better. They, like, they started to actually score, but by then the game was over. They were like eight goals down or something like that <laughs> when they started to actually start scoring goals properly. But yeah, um, it was a fantastic game in the first half. Not so fantastic in the second, but it was fantastic in terms of who won. So, yeah, uh, that was a fantastic win for the Giants. Played very well. Um, Magpies, I don't think, played that badly. It's just that scoring shots, attacking, that's where they fled. That's where they failed. That's where they flopped. It looks like a spaceship from here. Just so you know, I always want them to lose. Next week, MCG, Sydney Swans. I will be there. So, don't let me down. Okay, I want to see them keep losing. Let's keep the losing streak going, yeah? <laughs> they won the grand final. Let's have them lose some games, all right? They need to be brought back down to earth, okay? We don't need to hear calling word every week, okay? I think, I'm sure you can all get behind this. Anyone who's not a Collingwood fan, let's get behind it. <laughs> they cannot win. Stop them from winning every single game. I'll be there next week. More friends. I'm gonna get an Uber home, but I might as well get in the station. It doesn't look that packed as, as, it, as I would have thought anyway. Just seeing a guy in an NWO t shirt from WWE. I like that. I like that a lot. Or WWF, I should say, or WCW. Um, yeah, that was fun. I thought I'd show off this area, but I don't know what. I think it's rugby. It's got to be rugby. But what else would it be? Cricket? You wouldn't be cricket because you got that ground over there. Um, geez, these lights are really messing with the camera. Yeah, that was uh, that was fun. Um, also, I was sitting behind two guys, right? They're both grey-haired, but didn't look that old. They're probably in their fifties, uh, I'd imagine. They were best friends, but they supported opposite teams. As a Giants fan and the Collingwood fan, and they had another mate as well as a West Coast fan. He's just there's a joke in there somewhere about walking into a pub. I love listening to the, to these two. The, the banter between them. The Collingwood fan was a lot more vocal. The Giants fan was very quiet. Like he turned back at me and high-fived me a few times. I, I, I gave him a handshake, a fist bump. He was very happy to see me because uh, there was barely any Giants fans in the stand, but there were a few in front of us though. It was just really wholesome, the fact that they were best friends, but one supported Collingwood, who was a lot louder and the other supported the Giants, who was a bit more loud when the Giants started uh, to get on the ascendancy in the end of the second quarter. Just, I just love seeing that. And also there was a Giants fan in front of me, like a few years in front. He was waving at all the Collingwood fans that were leaving. I was, it was just so funny. But yeah, that was fun. Uh, there was a very vocal Collingwood fan, like to my right, like a few seats to the right. Like everything he would shout about, bro. <laughs> uh, the, on, the, on the screen, they showed Toby Green smiling, and he got triggered by that. He got, I know a lot of people hate Toby Green, but he was just like, You weren't smiling in a semi last year, mate. Uh, in my head, I was just like, That wasn't the semi, that was a prelim, wasn't it? You talk about the Giants Collingwood game, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I could go on and on about, you know, fan interactions and everything, but it was, uh, it was really fun. Also, there was a guy like a few rows in front to the left of me and that vocal calling fan to the right of me. They said something, I don't know what, half of them were drinking beer, so they're probably, all, most of them were probably drunk at this point. The guy, Collingwood fan was shouting something. I don't know what he shouted. And then <laughs> the guy in front of me turned around and was just like, long way home to Melbourne, mate. And he's like, I live in Sydney. In, in the most like, in the most throat, in the most I have a bad throat voice ever. I live in Sydney. And then the guy turns around and he's just like, why do you support Collingwood then, mate? See, I laughed at that. Then I remembered I live in London and support Hawthorne. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I thought I'd end the vlog right here. Instead of just, you know, going, get on a train, 45 minutes and then talking more. It's just like, I've said most of my thoughts walking down there anyway. So it's just like, yeah, this was fun. I will be in Melbourne for round one and two, um, just in Melbourne, no other states. Uh, but next year, I'm hoping to come for the gather round for Adelaide Oval. Obviously, that requires actually getting tickets. If I do secure tickets to those games at the gather round next year, then I'll be there. <laughs> I will be there. But uh, yeah, I've, I've had fun today. I've had a lot of fun. And I've still got plenty more to do. Uh, beyond round one and two, I'm also exploring a bit of Tasmania and uh, Brisbane. So. Uh, I look forward to sharing with you the vlogs. All the vlogs will be on this channel, including the AFL ones. Obviously, I've got a main AFL channel, Dalroth Productions. On there, you'll see my tips, etc. But the vlogs, including AFL, will be on this channel. So get subscribed. I want to get to 1,000 ASAP. But I'm still here. I'm still here until the end of round two. So don't go anywhere. But Sydney. Sydney, I'm here for another few days. Uh, and Melbourne, I'll see you soon, obviously, because I'm going to be there for round one. So obviously, I'm going to be there soon. This is your boy, Dalroth. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.
Go Giants. <laughs>